We hear a lot about Chinese tariffs, but we don't hear about how they can affect the cannabis industry. I had a chance to talk to the Blink Group's Sasha Askinoff, and he had some very interesting points to make about how Chinese tariffs could hurt the cannabis vaping industry. The Chinese tariffs could, will, cripple this industry. Uh, simply, we have, to, we, have to, we have to understand, so a little bit of a preface, right, a little bit of history. Most of these products and most of these source materials are made in China for a reason, because the source materials are not simply not available here. Let's talk about vapor products, for example, right? The source materials are simply not available in the United States. The know-how, the expertise to make and build these products is not available in the United States. It was, in, it was, it was born and developed over the past, over a decade, 15, 20 years, in Shenzhen, in China. China. And so by, by, by uh, applying these tariffs in the United States, we're not going to create jobs. All we're going to do is put more pressure on the up-and-coming uh, cannabis, uh, cannabis and CBD companies, put more pressure on the consumer, put more pressure on the retailer. When, when, when the Trump administration speaks about tariffs, they say, well, it's, it's nothing. It's 30 cents. It's 15 cents. But when we're talking about 50 cents added to a product like this, at the distributor level, at the importer level, by the time it gets to retail, it's two, three dollars more. And the difference between $29.95 and $34.95 and life and death. That's a life and death of product in retail. And th then think about how this impacts the, uh, uh, the, the patients. In states like New York, New York is a vape-only state. Uh, it's expensive enough as it is. You know, your 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 extractors with 10, 15 percent margin. Uh, you know, get by, by the time they get to retail, you're you're buying a cartridge for ninety dollars. What if, and, and people are already squealing, and, 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 but but patients have nowhere else to go, with the exception of the black market. I mean, is that where this administration uh, the administration wants to drive the, the the buyer? In in the case in the case of Blink, we kind of absorb these tariffs. Right, so we're making less money because we know that with a product like CBD, which which has been explosive at 19.99 retail, if we make it 24.95, we're dead in the water. We can't sell it for more, so we're going to make less money. So we're going to create less jobs, and that's what these tariffs are doing. When you talk about tariffs, you have to understand. I mean, uh, take take Colorado. Colorado in 2017 made 247 million in tax revenue, right? Out of that, 25% is vapor products. At that in that year, now it's much higher. So that's around 61, 62 million. 61, 62 million is, is good to is good enough to take 10,000 students through school. By, by crippling our industry, they're going to lose that revenue. That's, we're talking about just the vapor products. By, by, raising, by raising those prices to the consumer, we're going to cripple. We're going to cripple more than more than the vape industry. You know, this is where regulation comes back into place and positive regulation, like California heavy metal standards. Uh, that's you know, that's 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 something that's fixing what's broken. I mean, that's that's explaining to people that this is what you put in your body, not the cartridge or the oil. It's the combination of the above. And you have to understand exactly what comes out of it when people stick it into that battery and vape it. And you have to understand that you're not doing any harm. So that was something that we've been speaking about since the traditional nicotine days. And the cannabis industry is only beginning to realize and only beginning to act on it. And it's wonderful. Regulations are wonderful. When, when, when they're thought through, when they're, uh, when they're well established, and when they're based on the realities of the marketplace that we're in. Raising tariffs is just going to kill us.